YouTubers. Um, we're going to enter day three of the deep digging air raid shelter renovation. Just before we start, I'd like to address a few comments from uh, from viewers and uh, on who've commented on the YouTube video and who've uh, made comments on my own personal Facebook page. I should need my glasses. Okay, we've got some YouTube bots um, who've said great content, bro. La da da da. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, but seriously, there's uh, Simon who is warned of um, UXOs, unexploded audience, unexploded audience. Um, a valid point. Um, I shall definitely be looking out for that. Thank you very much for the heads up. Um, Stuart James Photography has asked for more episodes, so here we are, Stuart. Hope this, um, you know, perhaps you, uh, you, you're finding this interesting, which is good, so um, we'll carry on. And also on uh, Dean on Facebook has asked where part three is. Well, Dean, it's here. It's about to unfold in front of you. So sit back, relax, crack open another mid-strength beer. Enjoy yourself. Okay then, quick recap to where we left off. Uh, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before yesterday, but um, I cut the hedge yesterday. Um, anyway, this is all the crap that uh, I dug out on day two. Um, I can't take it to the dump at the moment. As you know, we're in kind of a pandemic lockdown at the moment. I am able to socially distance myself. There's no reason anybody should get within two meters of me. Um, this is the back of my garden. In fact, this is all my land. My land, get off my land. Um, so anyway, this is, uh, this is me, it's the back of my garden. Um, you can see the big hole I've dug for myself. You know what they say, when you're in a deep hole, stop digging. But um, never mind. Here we go, look, here's my uh, state-of-the-art equipment just like in my professional life i've got all the latest modern equipment to uh, make the job a lot easier so we'll crack on with that and uh, hopefully not knacker ourselves too much i'll set you up on a tripod somewhere so you can watch me for a second so i will you know it's obvious you like to watch a uh, slightly overweight middle-aged man digging a big hole for himself so um all right let's let's crack on
smell a bit fruity. Bag of, uh, bag of trash down here, bag of garbage, rubbish. Bring it down to have a quick look. Here we go, look. Welcome to my world. Um, I've got a nice bag of crap here. Uh, that's obviously fairly modern. So, how did that end up in in the hole? Who knows? Let's dig it out and get rid of it. I'll stick it in my garbage bin, my, my rubbish bin. Sorry, excuse me, saying garbage. Where the hell are we in America? Um, I'll put it in my uh, rubbish bin. Um, and we'll see what happens uh, once we get past that. Look, there's a little beetle fellow there, look. See you later, mate. Go on, jog on. Okay, so some of that rubbish in that bag was this St. Michael's, Marks and Spencer's talc. Still full, maybe an unwanted uh, Christmas present or something. So somebody thought, yeah, we'll just stick that in a plastic bag and out of sight, out of mind, we'll stick it down the air raid shelter. That'd be a great idea. Um, the rest of it, as far as I can tell, let's make you focus. The rest of it, as far as I can tell, is old carpet. So, yeah, of course, you know, you've got a council tip. Um, you could take it there, you could get on a bus, you could take it in a car, you get somebody else, you could put it in your waste bin outside. But uh, no, let's just bury it at the back of the garden. Human beings, Jesus Christ. Anyway, never mind, enough of that, enough ranting. Um, I thought what was more interesting was this construction detail. Again, let's make it focus. There we go. Um, this is the top. So that's the entrance. Side wall, roof of the shelter. You can see there's uh, one, two, three. In fact, that looks like a asbestos roof there. Um, so that's great, isn't it? A bit of asbestos, always good. Um, so yeah, there's at least two layers filled with topsoil and chalky rubble. So that, you know, that wouldn't stop a 500 pound bomb, but that would certainly slow, slow down a bit of shrapnel. Um, that asbestos shouldn't be a problem as long as I don't start smashing it up. There's more up here actually, look. There's a lot up here, look. As long as you don't start smashing it up and um, you know, grinding it up, it shouldn't be a problem. We'll uh, work out a way to get rid of that properly. Um, and perhaps just in case this stuff in concrete, we'll see how we get on. But anyway, I thought that was an interesting construction detail. You may or may not agree. So layers of uh, absorption for small pieces of shrapnel and indirect hits. Um, okay, let's carry on digging out this bag of crap and uh, I'll come back when we find something exciting. It is hot as an oven in here. Um, it's really, the air temperature is not that warm. I don't know if it's the humidity from the damp soil, but it's really quite toasty in here. Um, anyway. Uh, I got to the bottom of that big lump of corrugated steel that I was stood on trying to get out the other day. Thank you, Auntie and Emma, for pointing that out. Um, anyway, uh, it was much longer than it looked. Uh, I couldn't have done anything apart from stand on it. Um, it just dove down and went deeper and deeper. Anyway, I've pulled it out and it's just behind me, or behind you, it's behind you. Um, so we'll turn you around, you can see that, and no, we can't. Hello, Len, yeah, you're actually on the phone. I'm just videoing you now, Len. You're giving me a break in, uh, sorry, you, you probably don't quite grasp that I'm filming myself speaking to you on the phone, Len. Oh, yeah. yeah, just so I can include you in the video. No, no, you won't have anything on your phone. I'll, I'll send it to you later, mate. 
All right. Okay, there it is. That's the uh, that's the bit there. I just had to stop and speak to Len. He's uh, 88 years old. He actually remembers the war. He's got some fascinating stories. Maybe we'll um, photograph him or do a little interview with him after this pandemic. Um, he uh, actually today is also the anniversary of the liberation of Belson. And uh, Len was um, stationed at Belson. He wasn't there during the liberation, but he was in the army of occupation. Um, so anyway, there we go. Look, he's more than familiar. He said, "Look out for ammunition and uh, and ordnance," as um, as the other commentator did. Um, and candles, interesting. I don't think we're going to find any candles down here. We might when we get inside. Um, but I think it was used as a shed in the seventies. Anyway, there we go. Um, what was I rambling on about? A bit of iron over there that we dug out. Um, here we go, more roof timber. So that's nice. So, uh, yes. If we dig out this spool here, we can then, under that spade, I hope this isn't a shitty nappy. Could well be. Uh, anyway. Um, let's hope it's not a nappy. Um, under here is the carpet that I've been stood on in that bag. It was buried under the it was buried under the corrugated tin, steel, iron, whatever. Um, so now I'm hoping if we can there's more here. Look. I'm hoping if we, if we dig out this a bit more, we can get to the plastic bag and we can get dingy. Anyway, God, yeah, I'm rambling a bit now. I'm uh, Slightly off my stroke there after that phone call. Let's crack on and get back on it. Okay, um, maybe it's time to call the police. We've just found an item of uh, ladies' clothing. Um, certainly not one of mine. Um, here, there's a bra look in this bag here. Let's hope that's not. Um, Body parts in there. I'm sure uh, it did smell a bit unsavoury. Um, right, okay, well, let's uh, continue. Okay, folks, we've uh, got to the bag of rubbish. Sorry, did you hear that landslide? There's uh, stuff falling out of here. We'd have, have, have to be quite careful, I think, with this. Anyway, um, so, back to the investigation of the ladies' underwear. Um, a bra, a dress with a plastic button. Um, not much of a dress left, to be honest. Uh, some, yeah, that's the talc we found earlier, first thing we found. There's some skin lotion or something there. These are uh, cotton bud, or I believe you call them Q-tips in the States. Um, and then the bag that it was in. So for evidential purposes, here is the find. I don't think it is a murder, um, but disturbingly, there is another bag here. Um, so let's hope there's no young lady in there. Um, let's carry on then. We'll, uh, I think I'll bag this up. I'll take this away from the edge of the hole. Uh, bag it all up and uh, dispose of in a proper fashion. Um, yeah, why they decided to bury some ladies' stuff down here, I don't know. Bit of a worry. Um, yeah, okay. There it is for any future reference. Okay, so um, worst case scenario with that lady's garments um, is that the poor lady is down here somewhere. Um, much more likely is that um, some asshole has uh, decided to dump their trash in this hold rather than take it to the dump but 
there is another pair of ladies' tights, stockings, pantyhose, another black pair, and under here is what could be our first little artifact. Not this, not this lump of rusty steel. But look, a mug. I think it's a mug. This is it's a perfectly usable, good mug. Well, there we go. I don't think it's Clarice Cliff or anything. I don't think it's even that old. Then the oven proof. Made in England, of all the best things. Can't read that signature. Denby Ovenproof Mug. Well, there we go. That can get cleaned up and reused. Okay, we're still at the um, we're still at the bag of rubbish um, part of the trench. We've just found our first bone. Now, I don't know much about bones, but I know that's not human because inside it has these, uh, it's very lightweight, it has these structures, which is, I believe, diagnostic of a bird. So that's probably a chicken bone from someone's bag of rubbish. Maybe dragged here by a fox or something. But not the, uh, not the young lady whose clothes we found. Um, so we'll pop that away up there. Uh, I can see. Oh, yeah. Come on, focus. There we are. I can see a uh, plastic plant pot here. So it's all this modern trash, garbage, rubbish, whatever you want to call it. That's. Uh, been tossed down here. Somebody thought, well, let's put that down that big hole rather than take it to the dump. Another phone call. Wonder who this could be. Okay, well, it seems that was just a pocket call. I called somebody. Um, inadvertently. So, yeah, this is all just modern rubbish, isn't it? Let's uh, bag this up and bin it where it should be binned. My, my mother said a Christmas pudding should have Guinness in it. Well, that's another fragment, unfortunately, um, of a bowl which came out the hole. I'm thinking we're going to stop here. I think we should um, call it a day for the time being simply because I don't really know where the end game is here. Um, let me just explain my thinking. Originally, I was going to come from my garden in there, down here, make um, some steps down and enter the shelter there. But, I mean, considering the amount of dirt I've already dug out, which is a lot um, and the unstable nature particularly of that end of the trench uh, you can see here uh, the rendered side wall is just coming away because this root um, among other problems this root from the big uh, yew tree up there has come through and pulled all of that away so that's pretty unstable then. If I chase back beyond this step, which I'm calling a step, I don't know if it is a step, it could be just fallen roof. Um, if I chase back beyond there, I'm just giving myself a world of pain and a lot of digging. So my thinking is, if I were to carry on digging down here where it's more stable, it's about where the spade spit comes, I was to dig straight down there and just take out this 
three, four feet of um, space, you could then build a circular brick enclosure with an arch over the roof, you'd come down a ladder and you'd be in. And you could put some kind of shed roof type thing here to keep the wet out. Um, I'm thinking that's a far better solution. But I'd really appreciate, especially if anybody's got any uh, building experience, I know Dean has. Um, he's a, you know, become a fairly good builder. Um, and of course my dad, who's actually a carpenter um, and has years of experience in the uh, building game. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking, as I said, this, this end is quite stable and relatively safe. I feel quite comfortable here. Um, as comfortable as you can be in a 80 year old collapsing structure. Um, but this side, looking that way, is an absolute shambles. So, um, we'll do a quick round up of what we found in the, uh, in the hole and we'll be back probably tomorrow for day four. Yes, day four. All right, I'll speak to you again soon. Okay, so this is a selection of rubbish. We've dug out the hole today. Um, our mug, which isn't rubbish, we can use that. That's quite nice. Don't know how old it is, we'll find out later. Um, all sorts of ladies' toiletries in a bag. Um, two young ladies' bras, I'd imagine, because they're quite small. I think it's two bras. I've, I've had a look, I really can't work out how to get them apart. Story of my life. Um, a pair of, two pairs of stockings, or pantyhose, whatever you call them. Um, some more, the remnants of that steel that I stood on. And some plastic crap. Um, the Guinness bowl, I tossed out the hole, and I have no idea where it ended up. I cannot find it for love of the money. But um, I don't think it fell back down. Maybe it did. No, I don't know where that went. Anyway, never mind. It was broken. Shame it was broken. Would have been nice if it was whole. Um, anyway, this is really all the dirt that came out. I'm going to spread this out, put the fence back up, and then solicit your comments on how to progress with this. I'm thinking... I really am thinking an elliptical, an elliptical uh, brick kind of entrance, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for, like, a, like a, a stairwell type entrance thing with a ladder or some very steep steps going down because digging this out is just going to be a nightmare and I've already made this ground rise by about a foot with all the garbage coming out of it. Uh, rubbish, I should say. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And uh, we'll see you for day four. Don't fall down that hole, Kit Kat. Kitty. Yeah, that's it, you go around it. Right, Kitty, don't put down the hole, will you? Careful.